Hi there, this is Tracy Newman from Cloud Counting. We're a specialist e-commerce accounting firm that advises our clients on all things e-commerce from the shopping cart through to the inventory system through to the back end, which is zero. So what I would like to show you today is a new uh, beta add-on solution being introduced by A2X, which is uh, traditionally a firm that specialized in introducing an add-on between zero and Amazon. Uh, they're very, very well known in the United States and they're making quite a, a breakthrough here in Australia working with Australian Amazon clients. And most recently, they have introduced a solution that is going to link your Shopify shopping cart through to zero by summarizing information and, and stopping the need to sync through detailed information from Shopify into zero for purposes of matching with bank deposits. So here's how it works. You can see on my screen right now, this is a link between Amazon uh, Shopify product and Shopify. And what's happening here is uh, the A2X product is looking at the payout area in Shopify, and they have listed the Shopify payouts here in chronological order. So what then happens is you do a little bit of mapping, and I'll show you, we'll, we'll work on this most recent Shopify payment and click on review. And you can see here in this particular uh, invoice that the Shopify A2X add-on is proposing to sync over to zero that they've listed out line by line each of the uh, various components from the Shopify payment. Um, there are a few Americanized aspects to, to the proposed layout at the moment, which I believe is still being worked on and considered. For example, you can see the tax is broken out as a separate line instead of being incorporated into the same sales line. And the reason for this that's been explained to me by the A2X staff is that's because in the United States, the taxes can be multiple and varied and they map those liabilities directly to a general ledger account not as a derivative of the overview of the overarching sales, but as liabilities in their own right. So they acknowledge that here in Australia, that's not necessarily the way we do things, but that's the way it's the beta started. And hopefully in the future, we would see uh, a three line sale here. For example, our product sale gross revenue, our shipping gross revenue, and our Shopify merchant fee. And maybe a fourth line if we're also making sales on this day to overseas customers, so we would have a GST free income. So you can see uh, the terminology here. We created one invoice for this settlement, totaling $97.95. And if you go back to the summary page, this is where you can send this to zero. So I've done this already, but uh, originally this is a, a button that you can light up. And you can also uh, export it more than once. Just remember to delete the original export. So that's the way it works originally, and you can also automate this, this publishing as well with Zero by changing your preference settings. So once that's happened, what will happen over here in Zero is originally this, this sale will arrive in your draft sales bucket. So just to uh, summarize, in Zero you have a number of tabs or buckets where your sales can arrive, and the very first one is draft. And what I've done is I've found this and I've approved this sale. And even though we've got too many detailed lines at the moment with GST on income here uh, separated, and I've spoken to that earlier, I've done the math, so my GST is perfectly correct in terms of it, it represents 1 11th of the gross sales, and it's also been reduced for the GST we're claiming back to, for the merchant fee. So once the sale's been approved, the next step is to wait for the payout to arrive in your bank account. And that's what I'm showing you here in terms of um, the deposit that's arrived in the bank account and you can see we automatically have a green match with the sale that's been pushed over from the, from the add-on solution. So this is looking fantastic. I know it's early days and I know there's lots of issues to resolve around uh, simplifying the tax as I discussed previously and also addressing other uh, payment gateway methods that you may offer on your Shopify website such as uh, other credit cards, PayPal, Afterpay, et cetera, et cetera. But given um, the early indicators, I think this, this particular app is going to be a game changer. And now that the bold Shopify app has started to charge for uh, that integration, whereas previously it would be free, I'd be putting my money on this app hands down. So great, 
to show you this new solution. If you'd like any updates on where we're up to, uh, please get in touch. My email is countonus at cloudcounting.com.au or you can find us on the web, which is www.cloudcounting.com.au. Keep in mind this app is in beta currently. It's free, so you can check it out and have a play with your own situation. And hopefully over time it will be refined and released for fee. But even looking at the pricing at this stage, it looks very competitive compared to the Shopify Bold integration. So thanks for listening, and we shall catch you next time.